Hello friends, uh, today our topic is trigonometry. What is trigonometry? We know in the, it is a branch of a mathematics in which we discuss about the about triangle and uh, measures its angle and sides and the various relationship between the angle and sides. Okay, so here we discuss about some ratios. So these ratios are like sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, cot theta. Okay, so what is the ratio? We will find by drawing a right angle triangle here. So this is our right angle triangle. And we take the angle theta in anti-clockwise direction this. Okay, with respect to that theta, that angle theta, the adjacent side is this. Adjacent side, this is. And this is the opposite, opposite side here, opposite side. And this is hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So the ratio sine theta is defined as opposite side by hypotenuse. Okay. Cos theta is defined as adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan theta is defined as opposite side by adjacent side. Okay. In this way we define the ratios here. And what is cosec theta? This is hypotenuse by opposite side. Sec theta is hypotenuse by adjacent side. Cot theta is adjacent side by opposite side. This cosec theta is reciprocal to sin theta. Sec theta is reciprocal to cos theta. Cot theta is reciprocal to tan theta. Okay. Now we will define it in a circle with radius r. If we draw a circle here and this is the coordinate axis and this is origin, this is x axis, this is y axis and we take P any point on the circumference. So quadrant, coordinate of P is x, y. So we can say this is x, this is y and the p and p makes an angle theta with the, with the x axis in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So this is theta which makes the with the positive direction of x axis in anti-clockwise direction. So from here we can measure the ratio sin theta, cos theta, tan theta etc. Here we can say this if this is O, OP is the radius of the circle R. Okay. So here this is radius. So, so we draw here this line. So here this is a right angle triangle. For this triangle this is theta and with respect to that theta this is our adjacent side. This is our opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. Okay. So here sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. So opposite side in respect to that theta opposite side is y and hypotenuse is r. Okay. So for cos theta adjacent side is x, hypotenuse is r. So adjacent side is x. Tan theta for tan theta opposite side is y and adjacent side is x. Okay. And we know this is 1 by cosec theta. This is 1 by 
sec theta. This is 1 by cot theta. Okay. So, in this way, we can find the value of the ratio and, we, and the relation between the ratios. Okay. We draw the axis here. This is x axis. This is y axis. Okay. And through this axis, we uh, divide our quadrant plane into four quadrant. Okay. So, here if uh, we take a line here which makes an angle theta with positive x axis in anti clockwise direction, we see that theta can be from 0 degree to from 0 to theta can be from 0 to 360 degree. Okay. And by the axis, we divide our quadrant plane in four quadrant. Okay. So, here this from 0 to 90 degree, this is our first quadrant. This is our first quadrant. From 90 degree to 180 degree, this is 180 degree. This is 90 degree. Angle is theta here. This is 180 degree. From 90 degree to 180 degree, that is second quadrant. From 180 degree to here, 270 degree, this is third quadrant. And from 270 degree to 360 degree, this is fourth quadrant. So here we see that our coordinate plane divide into four quadrant. This is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Now we discuss what will be the value of, our, of the ratios of our trigonometric ratios in this quadrant. We must remember here for the first quadrant all the trigonometrical trigonometric ratio will be positive. For the first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios will be positive. For the second quadrant, only the trigonometric ratio sine is positive. Sine means sine and cosec. Cosec is reciprocal to sine. So, second for second quadrant, co cos and tan will be negative. Sine, only sine theta is positive. Okay. For the third quadrant, tan theta will be positive. Tan theta means tan theta and cot theta. For fourth quadrant, cos theta. Cos theta means cos theta and sec theta. So, you must remember this, this rule all sin, tan, cos. Okay. All sin, tan, cos. This is positive for all, positive for sin, positive for tan, positive for cos. Okay. If the angle is given, Sine 135 degree. Okay. We can express this as an acute angle in this way. So, sine 135 degree means 180 degree minus 45 degree. That is sine 45 degree. Look at this in Cartesian coordinate. So, this is origin, this is x axis, this is y axis. So, 135 degree will be this angle. 135 degree. To we express is as an acute angle, we will take this angle. So, this is, one, this is 180 degree. So, 180 degree minus 135 degree, this is 45 degree. So, for as it is in second quadrant, so the value of sine is positive. So, what about cos 135 degree? That is cos 180 degree minus 45 degree. This is minus cos 45 degree. As we know, in second quadrant, the value of cos is negative. And what about tan 135 degree? That is also tan 
180 degree minus 45 degree that means minus than 45 degree. As for the second quadrant, this is in the second quadrant, only the value of sine is positive. So here, the value of uh, sine is sine 45 degree, or we, if we represent it as an acute angle, this is minus cos 45 degree, and this is the minus than 45 degree, okay?